Hi friends, in this educational video you will learn about angles. Here we go with the definition. In geometry, an angle is the figure formed by two rays called the sides of the angle, sharing a common endpoint called the vertex of the angle. Now look at this picture and try to relate this with definition for clear understanding. The first thing you came to know is for the formation of angle, there must be at least two lines or rays that share the same endpoint. This endpoint is called the vertex. Now look, here these lines are sharing the common point. These are the angles. Simply an angle measures the amount of turn. Here this angle measures the turn between this line and this line. The corners of your house forms angles. So do the hands of a watch. You can easily watch it around you. If we talk about parts of an angle, these are arms, angle and this is vertex. By definition, the two straight sides are called arms and the angle is the amount of turn between each arm. About vertex, as we learned earlier, the corner point of an angle is called the vertex. Measuring an angle. Here we will learn about how to measure an angle. Angles are measured in degrees. We use the little circle to denote the degree after numbers. To measure an angle, we use a tool called protractor. This is how we do this. At first, take this hand as the base arm from which we measure turn. Or whenever you measure an angle, take an arm as the base and put the protector on base arm like this. And then here do the same to observe the turn. Observing these places will show the exact measure of the turn. After learning the process of measuring an angle, here we will know about types of angles. The first type of angle is acute angle, an angle that is less than 90 degree. Look here. This is the angle less than 90 degree. This is acute angle. Then it comes right angle. An angle that is exactly 90 degree is, look here, this is right angle. Now this is obtuse angle. An angle that is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is obtuse. And then look here, a straight line. This is called a straight angle. An angle that is exactly 180 degree is called a straight angle and reflex angle an angle that is greater than 180 degree look here this angle is greater than 180 degree this compare this with this you will find that it is more than 180 degree it's a reflex angle and a full rotation means you will find this ray just above this this will be a full rotation will be equal to 360 degree. Then we go for labeling an angle. Labeling an angle is another process to learn. There are two main ways to label angles. By giving the angle a name, usually a lowercase letter like A or B or sometimes a Greek letter like alpha or theta. And the second way is by the three letters on the shape that define the angle with the middle letter being where the angle actually is it's vertex. If we take B as the vertex and AB and BC as two rays, alpha name given to this angle will be the same as we can call it angle ABC. Look here. And the same thing can be done with theta. Take C as vertex, AC and DC as two lines. By this endpoint, you will find that the angle formed is theta. You can also name each angle A, C, D. This of labeling, we go through the types and definitions. This type is congruent angles. Angles that have the same measure in degrees or radians are said to be congruent. Following 
this definition for congruent angles an angle is defined by its measures and is not dependent upon the length of the sides of the angles whatever the side of the rays it doesn't matter the thing matter is what turn they are having these angles are congruent the next type is vertical angles a pair of angle is said to be vertical also opposite and vertically opposite if the angles are formed from two intersecting lines and the angles are not adjacent the two angles share a vertex such angles are equal in measure and can be described as equal or congruent these two lines intersect to create two pairs of vertical angles they are intersecting here here are the pairs ab and cd ab is an pair and the other one is cd c will be always equal to d and a will be always equal to b the next is complementary angles two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degree a right angle now look here these are the two angles this one and this one this is of 60 degree and this is of 30 by adding these two we find the angle of 90 degree a right angle it sums up that this is a complementary angle or these two are complementary angles now we go for supplementary angles supplementary angles are pair of angles that add up to 180 degree as we learned earlier about complementary the same concept is here about supplementary but the difference is that it adds up up to 180 degree as this angle is of 155 and this is of 25 by adding up these two the sum is 180 degree means these are supplementary angles now we talk about angle geometry angle set a point angle at a point always add up to 360 degree whatever the number of triangles are how many rays are there it doesn't matter the thing matter is the angle between them will always sum up 360 degree another concept is angle on a line angle on a line always add up to 180 degree whatever the number of angles angle on a ray will always add up to 180 degree the concept here with triangle is that the angles form in a triangle always add up to 180 degree whether it is a equilateral or isolateral or any type of triangle here angle in a quadrilateral angle in a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degree uh, this was the video for you about angles uh, designed by ibc to cu you can visit here for his complete profile and portfolio or if you are a non profit organization and wanna get design work for you then visit nonprofitlogo.blogspot.com thank you